Hi, welcome back to World of Warcraft. Um, again, my name is Sir Tetricus, and we are actually going to be doing that Upper Black Rock Spire today, and the queue popped pretty quickly. Um, I am a little bit under geared to be doing this. My item level is only 514, so about 4 higher than what you need to have. So hopefully I have a good healer that will be able to compensate for my, you know, lack of tankiness. Um, I decided to do this because this is actually going to be a harder uh, dungeon. Um, so it's not going to be a raid, because I've already done all the raids and I can't get anything from them until next week. Um, but then next week, uh, Warlords will be out. So you might get a couple more raid videos before Warlords, but still. Um, this is going to be a little nice, um, because it is going to be a challenge. I didn't want to do a regular Heroic, because it's not that difficult. Now that I have some decent gear... I can actually pull a lot more than heroics would be over in like, you know, five minutes. I don't want to put a five minute video up for you guys. So I wanted to do this one for those of you that have not gotten to this yet or have not witnessed this yet. Okay, so we have... I wouldn't say we have a geared healer, but so... Hopefully that the DPS will sort of compensate for it. Let's pull this group first. Um, I'll send a little Kamehameha their way and give ourselves a buff. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the whole Brewmaster thing. Like, you see, they're, they're, they're doing a lot of damage to me. And that's why this is sort of hard. I have to constantly be using my stagger because they hit way too hard. I have a feeling this healer is going to have a very hard time against the boss. Because the final boss hits so hard. And it looks like the DPS in our group isn't really compensating for the fact that the damage is really high. Okay, let's try to LOS the, the casters. Uh, get some AoE going, try to dodge some stuff. Um, okay... So this is a little bit nerve-wracking to go through because these guys do hit really hard and I don't want to wipe on camera, but it's inevitably going to happen. Hopefully these guys actually know the fights, so it'll be a little bit more helpful to me. Okay. Like I said, this is not a hard dungeon. They just hit very hard. Like, And the way to unlock this door here... Uh, we're gonna send a Kamehameha their way and try to LOS. Try to get these guys in my line of sight. Okay. There we go. Uh, clear some staggers, get some AoE going. Um, drink my elusive brew. I don't know if I really explained that that well and what it does. And basically what it does is that it really uh, just allows you to dodge more effectively. Because with the monk, because you're in leather armor, you need to rely on dodging your... Uh, enemies attacks. Uh, you need to absorb them, not in the sense of like a bubble, but in the sense of uh, you cannot take the damage because you are not theoretically able to take as much as like a paladin would, because they don't have to clear all the damage they're taking. Not saying that a paladin is easier. Uh, oh no, this is bad. I might have to pop defenses, yep. I had to. Alright, they need to... Okay, okay. DPS needs to work on killing those cannons because it's really hurting. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard as well. I know I keep apology uh, apologizing about that. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know I pulled a little bit big there. I didn't know that there was trash. Um, that is my bad... Oh, they gave me a soul stone. I know I should have saved that, but I don't know what the DPS are doing. I need help. Okay. Yep. I had to die there. The DPS weren't really attacking. Um, they're not in that bad of gear. I mean, I should be able to just release and come back to the start, so... I mean, if you wipe on trash, you're able to do that, and this one doesn't have a graveyard, so it's really just, they can just walk back. I know that was my fault as a tank, but they really should have been attacking the cannons, because that's where most of the damage was coming from.
But I didn't come in here expecting not to die. Because I am a little bit undergeared and I do take a little bit too much damage just because of that. But at the same time, it's very difficult. Not in the sense, like I, like I explained, not in the sense that um, there's a lot of mechanics to it, it's just they hit way hard. And I sort of appreciate that, I mean, it gives me that kind of thrill I like when I raid. Uh, you get hit really hard, if you mess up, you die. But in the sense, if, she, if you mess up with a, you know, a heroic, like a heroic Pandaland dungeon, um, it's really not that big of an issue, because, I mean, you'll just... It's just a shrug, I mean, you're not gonna wipe off of a little mistake. That's why I like it so much. Okay, we're gonna try to pull these guys, and hopefully this... It doesn't pull trash, but thank you for this guy. Okay, so here we go again. We're gonna clear some staggers, try to dodge, and use our AoE attacks. Okay, now, really, uh, Brewmaster's hardest hitting move is Cape Smash. Um, but really, you want to be using Blackout Kick as often as possible because um, Blackout Kick gives you a, a buff called Shuffle. And it allows you to dodge and evade some attacks that normally wouldn't be able to. So that stacked with uh, your elusive brew is really, really good. So you want to just make sure you're timing that effectively. But the only thing is, the only reason why you only use it twice, the blackout kit, because it caps at 11 seconds, that buff it gives you. So uh, the first one gives you like 5 seconds, and the second blackout kit puts you up to like 10 or 11. So, it's it's really a waste of 2 chi. Yeah, it's extra DPS, but, um, but it's really, see, it, it oh, I, I may have missed. So you don't want to be wasting 2 chi to only get 2 seconds of the buff. You might as well just sort of optimize. Okay. I forgot to clear my staggers there, that's why I was taking so much damage. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm not the best monk. I know I'm not. But at the same time, I I'm not bad either. It's just sometimes I forget to clear the staggers. I do notice them, and you do get pop ups when it's not there. Okay, so we'll get some AoE going here. I didn't mean to use Breath of Fire. I honestly don't think that's a good tainting move. Yeah, it's extra DPS, and I had to lift to where it can stun people. But if you're D if your DPS are on it, uh, that little disorient that it gives you is really not worth um, stunning them. If you're gonna use two chi, use Blackout Kick. If you're already if you already have the buff, I would use Breath of Fire. Now this boss is not that difficult. I can actually survive this for the most part without a healer. Just because I'm a monk and I have so much self heals. Now, I feel like druids don't really use tranquility that much. I don't know if there's actually that much of a cooldown on it. Um, but it's really... Oh, thank you. They're actually getting rid of it. That's actually why I wiped one of the first times I came here. People were not getting rid of the traps. And it was doing a lot of damage to me. I know it was probably doing a lot of damage to them as well. But um, that's a DPS job to get rid of that. I don't know how. I've never DPS this place, to be honest. So. Okay. So let's just. The thing about this boss, I really don't need to worry about clearing staggers. But the reason why I would even clear a stagger is because I have this healing elixir. Um, talent. So whenever I drink a brew uh, every couple of seconds, it'll actually heal me, like about 10,000. So it's really good to use every once in a while. Uh, Karo needs some heals, and I'll. Oh, I tried. You saw me move my mouse on the Surging Mist icon. I tried. He was doing some good DPS. Um,. I don't have recount up right now, um, because for some reason I won't load with my UI when I try to. So, hopefully you can come to the uh, Touch of Death zone, okay? 
I did. I, I hit him for 83k, or 84. Now, another thing I forget to do. I have a lift that sends these little orbs around every once in a while. Oh, another 550. That's really good. That's actually why I came here. I didn't know if you could get loot more than once a week, just because it's so good. But it gives you 550 deer, so... I, I got one right here, you see, the other day. So we're going to equip that, and it's going to just put us to 515, because I do still have uh, this 470 deer and this 480 deer. So, this next boss I feel like is the hardest, because um, people don't DPS it. Um, the, the boss himself is not difficult, okay? But the ads are difficult. If you don't move away from their stuff, you're going to have a very hard time. See, like that. He's going to slam the fire down. Uh, that, that's also one of my famous uh, song albums, uh, Slam the Fire Down. Um, but he'll do that. But with the boss, he actually summons a lot of... Um, no, he doesn't summon. I couldn't, do, I couldn't dodge that. I, I had this buff that made it so I can't move. Yeah. But these guys do so much damage, and uh, next to the boss, there's two of them. So, you need to have DPS that do enough to get rid of him, but at the same time... Oh my god. There wasn't really much I could do here to pull less, because if I would have walked any further, they would have been pulled anyways. So we're going to try to run up here. Um, why did he go into bear form? Okay, we're going to try to save this hunter. Oh, that was a nice feign death there. Okay, healer. It's time to do your part. Oh, that's all I can do for you, buddy. Hold! Move! Oh my god. Alright, so the thing with these guys, um, they put a little stack on you and you can't move. So, when you can't move... It's very hard to dodge that move because it does a lot of damage to you. Okay, there's another shield that can protect me. Okay, you can't interrupt that. That's sort of what I wanted to see. Okay, I oh, forgot to clear my staggers there, but that's okay. This healer's doing a very good job. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I, it's a it's a little bit of a hard thing that I've been trying to think about think about with um, giving a soul stone to somebody if you're a warlock is it better to give it to the tank or to the healer because I know in a raid it's better to give to a tank because um, if the tank dies you have to have a DPS tank but if a healer dies, uh, you also don't get enough heals towards the tank. So it's sort of like a lose-lose situation. You know, um... Okay. Let's see. Alright, let's rebuff while these guys are headed towards us. I'd really appreciate if these guys killed these guys first. Because this guy is not a big problem. You can actually interrupt that move. It's that move that makes me really slow, but um, gives me damage. So it does compensate, but at the same time you're not able to move. And he walked directly into that, and so did I. I, re I didn't think I was that um, close. Um, but apparently I was, so, unless if he slightly moved. Which I honestly doubt. Um, and like I said, I'm... I'm sort of squishy, and I explained that at the start of the episode. This would be sort of painful. I would do, I would be taking a lot of damage, and I did expect to wipe a couple times. I didn't expect to wipe on ads, but uh, it's just sort of how it rolls uh, sometimes. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a ready check. Let, sorry if you can hear my keyboard. Okay. 
Okay. Everybody's ready? Oh, not him? Okay. Okay. I'll keep the aggro from these guys and they do the DPS. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, that was. That was not good. I don't know how he hit me that hard. He's never hit me that hard before. Um. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Alright. Sorry about this and, uh... It's really just embarrassing to see this, but at the same time, it's really just sort of difficult because I am a little undergeared, and you know. Now monk tanks aren't really that bad, so like, uh, um, if they were to actually look at my gear score, they'd understand. Like, um, it's sort of how it's going right now in um, 6.0.3. They're really not the best um, tanks, and. I didn't know that coming in, or else I would have made, like, a paladin or something, but this is sort of fun, and these guys did respawn, so. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Why is this guy taking damage? Um, where is he at? He's in the Valley of Honor. Hold on, one second. Okay, so he did just go repair. Um, I've done that a couple times, hit uh, teleport out of dungeon rather than just leave and just not even realize. Um, but I do feel bad to make all these guys die so many times, but at the same time, I have to do this to get gear, because I've already done all the raids for the week. So, and I did get so much gear. In that week, I replaced every one of my items. So, I'm really not going to complain that much, but at the same time, um, this is how you get deer. I mean, you're getting 550 deer. Um, one thing I am thankful about for him, uh, just leaving there, um, it gave me time to get my, uh, my defensives up. Okay, so I'm just going to try to play this smart here, clear all my staggers. Alright, kill the ads, kill the ads. Okay, get out of that. Okay, try to dodge some more. I know I'm clicking, but I'm just doing it because I'm nervous and I don't want to die again. But now the fight should be pretty much over. Because the hardest part of that fight is the ads. And... Yeah, I mean, if I had a higher gear score, it really wouldn't be that bad, but at the same time, this boss does hit really hard as well. So I'm going to put a little bubble on here to uh, take a little bit of pressure off of the healer. Okay. Just keep clearing those staggers. You should be fine. Sorry, my commentary is being a little spacious right now, but at the same time, it's sort of difficult right now. I don't want to die at the end of this boss fight. Um, 
Now they really just don't stand in stuff. That's your basic WoW principle, do not stand in stuff. Um, that should be uh, common sense to most every WoW player. Just don't stand in stuff, you won't die as quickly. <laughs> typically that's what makes most um, newer players wipe, is because they don't really know, oh, this green stuff, maybe it'll give me health or something. I, I don't, uh, that, that's just theoretical. See, it was hitting me for 14k just for standing in there. And I was only in there for just a second. Now, this healer's doing a really good job for myself being undergeared. I really appreciate it. And I'm glad that uh, he's not leaving because um, the last couple of times I've been here, people have been really impatient with me and uh, just sort of left. And that's completely understandable. They just want to hurry and get this done, get some gear. But I got some gloves too. That's really good. Um, I already had some 550 gloves, but I'm not going to complain because now with the stamina buff, I am. Oh wait, do we have a stamina buff? Yeah, yeah, we do. If now with the stamina buff, I do have 96k, and if I give myself this, okay, one of the players did leave. Uh, now I have 100k with my uh, crystal of insanity. Um, okay, Mortis. Um, so the warlock stayed in the. Oh, healer left. Okay, so I take back what I said about them being patient. Um, but at the same time, now our gear store is 518. So I might just be doing this for a daily dungeon rather than the raids or stuff like that. But I cannot pull another mob without dying. So we have to wait. And I, like I said, I really do apologize for putting like players through this. But again, this is how I get gear. So I don't want to... Uh, be apologizing for something that I, I'm just trying to get better at. I know I'm not the best, and I'm trying to become not the best, but that would be something cool to shoot for. Um, okay. So we're now queued up, so... I can't just take one guy at a time here, because doing that would pull a bunch of other people. I mean, if I used my Ox statue, that might be able to help me a little more if I didn't use AoE. Um, okay, okay. So we have a little bit of an undergeared shot. Uh, no, that's a priest. Is it discipline? I honestly don't know what's better right now, a discipline or holy. Uh, but he's in uh, Karazhan. He's not actually in the dungeon. Okay. Looks like he has the BOA gear, so he... He has to be somewhat of a, oh yeah, he's disciplined. He has to be somewhat of a, you know, experienced player. Okay, so let's just do that. We'll taunt him. We'll bring him down because I don't want extra ads to be pulled than what is necessary. Okay, we're going to keep clearing our stagger. I really hate fighting in this room because it's really hard to concentrate because the walls are really, really short. So, I'm actually going to put this down and see if I can take some DPS off of me. It might actually pull ads, and that could have been a, a deathly mistake. Okay. Um, but at the same time, I really do agree with some of the players that were saying that, like, Montaigne sort of suck. Not saying that they suck. Um... But honestly, they do take a little bit too much damage, in my opinion. Uh, maybe if they were to get a little bit of an armor boost, I don't want to stand on that. Okay. Uh, I would be okay with it. I'm going to use Touch of Death here. Just get some guys off of me. Okay. I like this healer. Not saying I didn't like the last one. I think we can avoid these guys. So let's just put some AoE here, and I really hope these other guys don't get pulled, because that will cause a wipe, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. I have to pop defenses. Okay, I know I have to get out of here, I know, but... Uh, 
This is not good. Yeah, I didn't pull that guy. That had to have been someone else. So hopefully they were able to kill them. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, like I said, I do feel really bad about, like, uh, dying for this much time. Um, but the dungeon is almost over. There's only three bosses in this place. The only thing that really concerns me is uh, this last boss here. Because you have to fight a lot of adds, and that's really not big of a deal. But the boss hits so hard. Like, it's, it's really, really difficult. There's not many things to... Not many mechanics to the fight, but really, it's um, it's honestly really difficult just because of the whole um, uh, the amount of damage he does. Even if I was geared, he does a lot of damage. So let's redo this buff. Give myself some self heals and some chi, and we should be good here. Okay, health stones. That would have been nice a while ago. Okay, so there is a group right here. I'm gonna throw a little. Okay. Okay, so I'm being a little silent. Um, it's really hard to concentrate because I really don't want to die again because it's now been about three or four times in the episode now. So it is a little bit of embarrassing on my part, but that's I, I did explain that I did want to do this. I do want to get gear, and I have gotten two pieces of gear, so that's really good. I was really hoping I would get a, a belt or maybe a weapon piece because that's my lowest gear score right now. Because that'll, that'll boost me up to maybe 520 or something like that. And that's that's the goal I want to be in for Warlords. Um, it's, not that, it's not that good of a goal. But at the same time, I, I did only get this 90 about a week ago. So I feel like I'm doing really good, making really good work. Okay, so we're going to put some more AoE down. I'm, I'm, I really have to start using my Ox statue a little bit more effectively. Um, because that's something I'm not doing, and it can take off some of the pressure on which I was uh, putting on myself. So we're actually going to put this down over here. Because it, it does stand for 15 minutes, and when it dies, it dies. So see, it, it gets aggro for most everybody. So we're going to use that to uh, peel off some pressure until it dies again. And we'll actually put another one down. I know they are so severely helpful because they provide very high threat generation. Um, it's just like having a hunter pet, although um, this one really only taunts, so it's it takes a lot of pressure off me. Okay, we're going to do some more blackout kits here, see if we can avoid most of the damage that we're taking. Okay, we're going to try to AoE these guys, get aggro from them. Yeah, that went a lot nicer. We're going to do that a little more often. We're gonna, when we pull, because it's on a 10 second cooldown, so there's no reason not to use it. Uh, he cheated. I don't like that he cheated. Uh, they all cheated. They didn't follow the rules of the game. Okay. So, like I said, not very hard. Um... Especially now that I'm using the Ox statue effectively. Um, <sighs> it is taking a little bit of a load off my chest, but not like that. Um, that I can use the Ox statue effectively now. Not, not saying that I wasn't able to before, it's just I wasn't really doing it. And now that I'm actually trying to use it, it's really just going to help me a lot. Oh, I... I really gotta start locking my action bars because I just took it off of there. Okay. 
So while this last guy is getting killed, I gotta try to put that back on there. It's, if you were curious, it's, um, this is the guy that the boss is going to be riding. Um, so this is the last wave. So we're gonna put one right there, because that's about where, the place where he flies down. So what happens is you kill the Sky Reaver, and then you kill the boss. I've, I'm pretty sure. So last time I checked. Okay, yeah. Oh, yep, that's the thing you have to try to avoid. Okay. Yep, dragon's down, so now we just have to deal with this fucker. You can't stand in that. That'll hurt you a lot. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. You don't want to be flying towards the floating... You, I mean, you don't want to be fighting towards the... The flying floating weapon. It just sounds like it's something you really don't want to do. We're gonna use our defense buff here. Um, get some of. Try to avoid some of the attacks here. I had to roll to get out of the way of that weapon. I don't know if it actually hits you that hard, but all things considered, most things that you don't know, you should try to avoid. Because um, I don't want to wipe on this fight because we are literally almost done. Okay, almost done, almost done. I can almost touch a death him, and that hits him for 80k. Okay, that does hit really hard. Okay, I'm just spamming it, just spamming it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Oh. It gave us a one-hand sword. A one-hand sword. Ah, uh, it is 550, but come on. Okay, I'm grateful that I have gotten loot from all three of the bosses, because last time I only got a ring here. So I got ring, a glove, and a one-handed weapon. So I'm going to see if I can incorporate that with another one-handed one, because I'm pretty sure a brewmaster uses a staff, and I'm actually going to look at the stats here. Um... Where's the weapon skills? I know there's some perks to having a staff versus one-handed weapons. I'll have to look that up on a later date. But in any case, my name is... Oh, it's right here. Um, the mountain is dealing 40% more damage for with one-handed weapons. Oh! So it really doesn't matter. It, I'll just be attacking faster. I'll, I'll be doing more damage with the one-handed weapons. So maybe I will try that. But in any case, my name is Sir Touchkiss, and I tip my hat to you, sirs. Make sure you like, comment, and or subscribe. Tell me how bad of a player I am, or tell me what I can do to improve. I want to hear your guys' opinion. But, I do want to say, you guys have a good day.